Hello YouTube, it is I, Alien Hijacker. Hello YouTube, it is I, Barbecue Roadkill. That's very creepy. Uh, I guess it's appropriate. We're going to play a simple love game. Uh, we're not going to spoil anything, maybe except the, you know, thumbnail. But uh, this, uh, Jordan, tell him the title of this. Uh, this is the Farm or Farnham Fables, episode one of three. The King's Medicine, written by Andrew Tolini. Yeah, and you know it's just a, it's just gonna be a nice romantic game that two buds are gonna enjoy here. Uh, for any of you that are tuning in or have been watching just for James, welcome back to the original recipe of our channel. We're back, baby. Oh yeah. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Just play the game. Okay. All right. All right, let's fucking do this. Ah, yeah! uh, read it, buddy. A, a light drizzle of rain accompanies young Nigai and her little niece Callie as they make their way to the castle, where Callie's father, Mitsugori, works as a high-ranking soldier for the king's personal army. I think this is Asian. I, I don't know. Earlier in the week, Mitsugori had promised his daughter a visit to the castle, but when unexpected guard duties arose, he demanded his sister take her there instead. Naige, Naiji agreed more for her timid nature and feelings of family of obedience than a desire to visit the castle, but seeing Callie so cheerful and enthusiastic made things easier for her. Well, emotionally at least. Alright, buddy, you're, you're first. Am I the guy? Yeah. Naga? Okay. Callie, please don't jump into the puddles. Nagai once again has to remind the energy filled three year old rat girl Callie is too busy humming to herself to give a response until they are close enough to see the castle. Rat girl. Ani! <laughs> Yes. No, you go. No, I no, like no. your voice better. No, no, you go. Okay. Naiji, Ani, looky, looky, it's a castle. It's it's the castle. What the fuck is this game already? <laughs> Callie excitedly exclaims. <laughs> yes, yes, Callie, slow down, please. Naigai replies as she tightens her hold on Callie's hand to keep her from running away. Oh my god, the way they're just slowly getting closer, I fucking hate it. <laughs> Honey, Naji, is Daddy gonna be there? No, Callie. Naji responds gently, with only a faint hint of frustration. I told you, Daddy won't be here today. He has to guard the Queen because she needs to go visit her sick brother. Why is he sick? I don't know, Callie. Why don't you know? Callie interrupts. I don't know because it's a private family matter, Callie. Naiji, tone is gentle, though a little more from feeling tired than from her loving patience. Uh. Callie briefly quiets down, more from her mind wandering to other things than from being satisfied with the answer. They reach the castle gates, where two friendly guards greet them and politely, es politely escort them to Polite. the main entrance. <laughs> <clears throat> they reach the castle gates, where two, friends guard uh, two friendly guards greet them and politely escort them to the main entrance hall, asking that they wait for somebody to give them a tour of the castle. But Callie has other ideas in mind. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Is this game now? Whoa. Okay. Okay, YouTube. So, uh... Maybe you've noticed by now, but this isn't a fucking human. We're playing a furry game. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> I... Can you move? Uh... Talk to it's just a... I can hug... Cli Are we playing as the kid? I think... Yeah, look at the bottom left. You got that girl in the pink jacket. Give Nagi to Callie. What? These are rat people? Uh, let's... Let, what, what should we do? Should we hug them? Uh, 
No, climb. Definitely climb before you hug. He's thinking and gives her a look that easily translates to... Don't do it. Okay. Alright. Yes, Callie, I love you too. Nigate responds tiredly, but with a smile. Alright, what should we do? Uh, well, go to that painting. Click painting. on that painting. Can you do anything? Look at, Look at painting. It's a beautiful painting done by the host of some TV show that Nagi sometimes watches, but Callie finds really boring. King Farnham must have a fan of, or must be a fan of the show as well. Okay, what the fuck are we doing here? I'm taking that fucking painting. Either too, <laughs> yeah. either too heavy or too bulky for Callie to safely carry. Okay. Talk uh, can you? What? Can you like? Can you click on those doors? Any of those doors? Can we do anything? Oh, do climb. Climb on that table. Oh. Oh, I can open it. I guess that. you can. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's steal some shit. Uh, Kelly opens the doors, finds nothing inside, and has to be told by Nagi to close them again. Maybe the desk is just here for decoration? What was that fucking drawer, kid? <laughs> okay, um, uh... Fucking, I don't know. Give, give him the doll. Alright. The idea of the doll carrying Nike around would probably cause Callie to break out lo in, in, into loud laughter, so it's probably better she doesn't imagine that right now. Yes. What kind of dating game is this? It's not a puzzle game. <laughs> okay, touch. Touch him. Callie knows she shouldn't grab Nike's tail, but she still doesn't understand why doing so makes Nike so flustered and embarrassed. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Um, okay. Let's take them. Stop that Nagi shoes away. Callie's attempt to pick her up. Um. Uh, let's. Wait. What are those arrow buttons down there? Like right above look and stuff like that. What? What happened? Like a. Uh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Where should we go? Yeah, look at the unlocked door. It appears that the store is unlocked. Callie really wants to know what's on the other side. So let's oh. touch that door. Fuck. Um. Uh. Uh. Oh wait, go. Go. Oh. He runs laughing down the hallway. Galanugwik, Isa, you get back here. Nagi cries out, more from fear than anger, as she quickly runs after her naughty niece. Oh look, dropped stuff back there. Uh, neither get very far, though, as who should stand before them but none other than, none other than King Ferdinand Farnham himself? What's oh, a human? Well, hello there, little one. God, yeah, that's the rapiest voice ever. Uh, <laughs> King, King Farnham exclaims as he lifts up the energetic galley. You must be the daughter of my fine soldier, Mitsuki M. Isa, aren't you? Uh, I'm Callie. Callie laughingly responds. Then hello, Callie. And this must be your poor Auntie Nigi over here. King Farnham smiles at Nigi, who, while still in shock, is unable to respond more than a fearful little squeak. How wonderful to have you come visit my castle today. I'm in the mood for a story. Let me tell you about something wonderful my sons did for me just recently. King Farnham leads them to the royal throne room, hangs up their raincoats, and takes a seat with Callie happily on his lap. He motions towards the queen's royal throne and says, Come, have a sit. Come have a seat in my wife's chair, dear. Come, have Maggie. a sit in my wife's chair. Take a sit. <laughs> Take all sit. And make yourself comfortable. Nagi cautiously takes a seat on the queen's throne, unused to such friendly hospitality, and from the king himself of all people. Even more amazing, as King Farnham begins to tell the story, Kelly, 
actually settles down and pays attention. Now, when was it? Ah, yes, it was ten days ago, that's right, when I had developed a dreadful fever. It was nothing a few days of troubled bed rest couldn't cure, but my sons, oh, such loving children, they couldn't bear to see me suffering. So they milked my cock for all the good. <laughs> well, it was just so happens that in Glexixu, that village of native lizard people just off the highway, there lives a brilliant doctor who, well, as they did in fact find out, could brew a potion capable of curing my fever within seconds. All it took was a catheter. So, my three wonderful children rode off on their horses to the nearest station because it was faster and more efficient to take the bus than simply ride their steeds the whole way there. <laughs> King Farnham continues to tell Nike and Callie a simplified version of the story, but you, dear viewer, shall get to see all of what happened with the three princes, Frederick, Flodor, and Philip. What a sworn feige. Why are we at a bus stop? Is this We're I, I, get the... Is this not medieval? This, <laughs> are, uh, it's Renaissance, baby. <laughs> we're at a bus stop and all we have is a sword. Uh fuck. Look at that trash bag. That trash can. There's something there. Oh we have a, fl a book? Fl has a book and Philip has a medical kit. Why didn't he heal okay. him? Okay. Okay. There's something in that trash can. Let's uh let's look at the trash can then. Oh god, excuse me. Let's see. Let's take from the garbage can. Nothing in the garbage can. Okay. All okay. right. Let's uh talk to Fludor. Uh okay. should we sit on the bench? Yeah, we, we're supposed to wait. Oh, no, there's no time for that. Well, what, what do you mean there's no time for that? That's exactly what the dad said. The sign reads bus stop just fine, despite all the dirt. I guess we're going down that dirt trail. Hold on, I'm going to Go. switch to uh, Frederick. And I'm going to chop a fucking sword. Or chop a sign. Oh, yeah, do it. Do it. Fucking lame. Damn it! Damn what it! What kind of warrior are you, Frederick? Uh, what? what? That candy wrapper that Frederick is certain belonged to a hundred gram bar. I just searched the trash can. All right. Um. Shall we? Yeah. Go, go to we... the crossroads. Hold on. Let's see. Wait. Hold on. Leads to the village of Klekutsu, home of the lizard people native to the kingdom. It's also nothing interest. Okay, where do you want to go? All right, well, Down that dirt road. We only have one way to go. go to Wait, what's village. that yellow thing? That thing of flowers. Ooh, let's eat them. See, yeah, do it. Eating a flower <laughs> he knows to be safe. I like how we can't, like, fucking pick it up. It's water. Wow, I smell like water. Take, yeah, take it. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take another one. Wait. Have each one of the boys take one. Ooh. Good. 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 Good idea, buddy. They all. Aw. Oh. Okay. Whatever. Hold on. He has a book. He could study the flowers. But unlike the Tropolia magus, these flowers lack the slight peppery taste thing. Okay. Let's see, we'll talk to. Okay. Now we need to see on these brothers' roles. We gotta have Frederick has gotta be this total badass with the sword. He's adventurous. Yeah. He's yeah. total macho. He's, He's like also... a babe slayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got this fucking nerd who can't. Who he just can't do anything for himself because he's got this book. He's just. He's, he's got just got, like... so. Urkel glasses going on, so... so oh, wait, know. what if he's self-absorbed? Like, he's he's so cocky and shit like that. He's all about himself. And this guy? And shit like Philip? that? I'm pretty uh, sure he killed a guy. 
Oh, he's a tender lover. He, he's a sweetheart. He's got the medic. He's here to care for people. But he has definitely kill killed somebody. Oh, he's Ted, he's totally Ted Bundy. That's a Ted Bundy yeah. motherfucker yeah. looking right there. Fuck yeah. All right, let's go left. Yeah. Gotta say, gotta say, these graphics, top tier. <laughs> Do we go to the doctor's hut specifically? Uh, let's I mean, that's look at. We... Yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah. Uh... Oh, Hello, lizard person. <laughs> um. Although anticipating the villagers to wear very little, he wasn't expecting to see the doctor wearing practically nothing at all. Hey, good karma. Uh, here, I'll I'll be this person. Hey, good karma upon you all. Welcome, outsiders. The friendly doctor says, You can just call me Dr. Keith, man. It's all good. So what brings you hip humans to my humble home? This is you. Oh. Greetings, Dr. Keith. Frederick says, not really bothered by his lack of clothing. I am Prince Frederick Burningham, and these are my brothers, Fludor and Philip. Fludor. Yeah, you'll be all the best. Uh, fuck. Which one's Fludor? Is he the self-absorbed bastard yes our father's like very sick fludor adds plainly if possible we like wish to shorten the length of the time he would need in order to regain his health my older brother claims you may know of a cure is that like true bro <laughs> oh man you guys <laughs> says dr keith what a total bummer to hear the king's not feeling that good. Or the good vibes he so richly deserved, but wow. To come all this way to help your father like that? Totally good karma, man. Now, let me have a look here, Dr. Keith says. Oh, uh, searching through the medical supplies. Ah! Bummer, man. I have everything I need for this one mushroom here, er, except for this one mushroom here. Showing the brothers a picture in a book. But it's like, in a forest, and nobody, nobody's allowed in there right now because some terrible monsters like wrecking the peace and harmony of the forest, man. That won't be a problem for us. Fludor says. And, and besides, whatever monster we may face will be no match for my older brother Frederick in response simply smiles and nods oh man you guys dr. Keith responds tearing up a little or tearing up a little you truly love your father man all right I'll get everything else uh, ready here while you're gone Godspeed noble princes hey look at <laughs> see if you can look at his junk Specifically the junk. Yeah, let's give. Oh him my a god! Plug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he doesn't even to, think about that. Uh, try to give him the flower. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's see. Well. Hey, far out! Thanks for the snack, man. Doctor Keith eats the entire flower, then gives Frederick a hearty thumbs up. Good karma upon you, man. What? Maybe Fludor yeah. is more of a huggy. Yeah, he likes to hug, man. We'll do nothing. We'll do nothing. Sort of... I told you, he's self-absorbed. He only cares about himself. Talk to him. What? Sure, yeah. Okay, uh, where is everyone else? Notice not many people are around in the village right now, Frederick says. Yeah, man. Dr. Keith responds. Everyone's either out in the fields or having an early lunch or in the meeting about the monster in the forest. It's been a busy day, man. L let me tell you. Uh, what's the danger in the forest? You mentioned some sort of danger in the forest right now? Frederick asks. Oh, man, yeah. Dr. Keith responds. There's this little, or er, like, big monster disrupting the peace of the forest man like that's all they told us you know the guards and all they they take care of us and we don't question them man 
you know. I'm sure we'll be okay. Fred, perhaps Fred. we may even be able to calm down or chase away this monster. That'd be most righteous, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, non-violence is always the answer, man. Like, live and let live, you know? Where exactly in the forest should we be looking? Oh, they're here, there, ever, man. <laughs> this mushroom, like, likes to hide with other mushrooms that look like, like, look similar, but like, they're not dicks, but you know, they look like dicks, you know? Aren't they all? Of course. Wait, what are you looking for? A good for? cock is fine to find. <laughs> yeah, I need you to go get the big cock shrooms. All right, we're done talking here. I'm going Just to. Leave. Just leave. <laughs> I'm going to search him. Is it? <laughs> Ooh, let's search the cabinet. Let's see, well. Open the cabinet. Oh, here. We'll, we'll go to Philip. Philip's the medic. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, he didn't want to ask permission? What the fuck? What the fuck? These brothers are little bitches. Hmm. Let's go to this guy. We'll study the pot. He's never seen them on any list of dangerous narcotics, so he trusts that they're safe to at least be smelling. So, we'll take search? Or is that what he does? I can't. Oh, it's this guy. Search the pots. Oh, what the fuck? I think we're done with this room. It's just leave. Yeah, fuck this shit. Oh, as the three princes start to leave the village, a woman's voice suddenly calls out to them. Oh! <laughs> is, is that legal? Do we need a censor bar? Wait! Uh, a pathetic lizard woman cries out, running as fast as she can. Wait, sirs, please, wait! It's like fucking Frogger, man. It's a lady Frogger. <laughs> please, sirs! Ain't she cool with it, bruh. While also catching your breath. My name is Rachel, and, and my daughter Gloria, she's run off to, to... I told her she she could go off to the forest today, and it's dangerous today, but she she must be looking... Rachel's eyes begin to slowly tear up. Oh, no! Frederick! Oh, boy. You play a... It's the hat. Uh. Is she blushing? Oh my god, uh, she is! Walks Fred up to the poor Fred lizard Lick, woman. Frederick walks up to the poor lizard woman and gently places his comforting, er, his hand comfortingly on her cheek, briefly star startling her, but also causing her to blush a little. I, I swear to you, yeah. dear Rachel, we will find your daughter Gloria and bring her back safely from the forest. Frederick says, his gentle voice full of confidence. His brothers nod in agreement, knowing their father will be more, er, will more than understand their delay. Thank you, Rachel whispers as Frederick gently brings his arms around her in a comforting hug. Blue Door and Philip wait patiently while Frederick continues to hug Rachel, comforting her until her eyes are no longer filled with tears. Too worried to wait at home, Rachel waits by the village entrance at the, as the princes get ready to go. Well. <laughs> oh, look. Tickle? Tickler. You, uh, tickle? How do I? Oh. After he's rescued Gloria. <laughs> All right, we got it. We got to go save Gloria, dude. Yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Hold on, we we gotta we gotta pick up a flower too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. We gotta go to the forest, right? Oh wait, we can actually we actually have an option—a left or a right. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Let's see. We can look left. 
A lake can be seen for seen for a lake. Enough. Okay. The right is this leads to just another part of the forest. Okay. Let's go look at the lake. All right. There's the always lake. hot babes by the lake. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, fuck me, I guess. Well, there can be if we go swimming. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> swim in. There's an option. First, invite some girls from the village to go swimming with him, but his concerns for his father's health outweighs even that desire right now. Okay, these are hints. We <laughs> probably can't do anything until we actually get further along in the game. But there's pebbles. Well, we definitely need those pebbles. So he takes one. Yeah, yeah, we got a fucking yeah. pebble, dude. There's some Bush. bushes. Alright. Inside the opening is the in the bushes. Frederick finds what appears to be a small skirt of native fashion, though usually designed for children. Huh. Oh, okay. You don't suppose this belongs to Gloria? Frederick says while taking the skirt out of the opening. Philip, meanwhile, gets horrified. Gets a horrified expression at the thought of what finding this could possibly mean. There's no signs of struggle or injury. Fludor says, noticing Philip's concern. I have a theory. Perhaps she took it off to go swimming. Something frightened her into running, and she merely left it behind. Philip feels much better, believing that Gloria must be okay, only to instead become embarrassed at the thought of her running around naked somewhere. I really don't like what this game is implying, buddy. In any case, I feel we're on the right track towards finding her. Me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> hey, look, we have clothing now. You want to wear nice. it? Yeah. What? <laughs> that doesn't mean you don't have to, you yeah. know, not start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we throw a pebble in the water? Oh, can you? Yeah. Well, the pebble's in the lake of the way now. We need another pebble. Okay, cool. Onward! Onward! Like the Disney movie. Onward! Hey, look, mushrooms! <gasps> the mushrooms! Go! Uh, we need to analyze them, figure out if they're the right ones. Hmm. I do believe the mushrooms we seek may be found here. Allow me to take a closer look. Using his book as reference, Fludor searches through the patch of mushrooms while his brothers patiently wait. I do believe I have found it. Fudor says. Picking one of the mushrooms. My bad. Wonderful. Now let's continue our search for Gloria. We have a mushroom in our... What's with that rock? It's got like a hole in it. It's a fucking hole. Yeah, poke that hole. <laughs> uh, let's study this. Size hole in it. Or oh, okay. Let's stick a hole. Let's a bit of stick a pebble in there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. How about the hole and the rock, and it lands perfectly. Almost immediately, nothing special happens. So Frederick takes the pebble back. <laughs> I mean, we could have just gotten another pebble. <laughs> All right. Huh. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing there, huh? Alright. All right. Let's what move on. on. Fucking red herring they're throwing at us. Alright. Oh, look. A hey, friendly little fox. fox. Should we go pet it? Or Throw slice pebble at it? it. <laughs> Do it. Kill the fox. The poor sick fox pose. Oh, it's a sick fox. Oh, give him a flower. Oh, wait. Yeah, tend to. Good thinking. There's something wrong with the fox. Believes he has the right medicine to help make him better. Communicate with the animals. Philip is able to convince the fox to trust him and take some medicine from his medic kit. The fox immediately begins to feel better. Frederick and Fludor wait while Philip gets ravaged. No, I'm just kidding. With the fox <laughs> until he returns to them. You poor thing. He nibbled on some mushrooms to see if they were safe, but they gave him a terrible tummy ache. Tommy ache. No, not a stomach. Nah. Tommy ache. Oh, 
Bill talks. I'm glad you're able to help the fox. There you go. Oh, that's not all. I told him about our search for Gloria, and he says he could help us find her if we could bring him something with her scent. The clothes! The clothes! Oh, we're on top of this detective oh shit. Oh my god! Oh. Yep. All right. Let's do it. Great Wear idea. It. <laughs> oh. Clothing will give that to Philip. Picking up Gloria's scent from the skirt, the fox quickly runs to the southeast, obviously expecting the princess to follow. Where's the southeast? Just down the path? Uh, yeah, down and then right. Ah. Following after the fox, the princess is surprised to find it has cleared away a brush, revealing a clearing. Oh, oh thank you ever so much, kind fox. Oh, he uh, says that Gloria is through here, hiding behind that really tall tree. Frederick feels a bit embarrassed that he wasn't able to find the clearing himself. We haven't been down this yeah, path, uh, stupid fucking Frederick. Suddenly, the fox looks startled, as if sensing danger somewhere. What, the monster? <gasps> oh, goodbye, kind fox. I hope everything's okay. Well, now. Shall yep, we go into the down. clearing? Fuck yeah. Is there anything else to grab here? Have our boy Fedric lead the way, though, because yeah, uh, he's yeah, got yeah. the sword. All right, all right, all right. As soon as you enter uh, uh, into That's the clearing, appropriate, right? they find Gloria this... behind the large tree. Appropriate, right? I don't have to censor anything. It's just, there's yeah, a dot. There's nothing there. It's like, it's smooth, you know? Hey, you monsters, you're, um... Ah, uh, your heimses. And Gloria says happily. You man. Oh, uh, I think you mean humans? Mommy said I could, I could come in here because of the monsters. But I saw the monster and, and he was scary so I, I ran away and he, he could find me because I, I, because I was hiding. Well, your mother wants you to come home now, and she'll probably want to give you a great big hug because she was very worried about you. Yes. Okay. Gloria says, clearing, <laughs> wanting to be picked up and carried. It's a fucking pig. Suddenly, a large wild boar comes charging in, blocking the only exit. Yeah, the monster! Glory cries out, covering her face with her hands. The boar looks ready to charge. It's focused entirely on Gloria. Throw the fucking frog at her. Throw Fuck the stone. A big fucking pig. Throw the stone or do I slice it? Throw the stone. Don't be stupid. Don't get too close. A single pebble won't really do anything other than angle the boar. That's what I want. want. Pick up more. All, All right. right yeah. Slice it. Fierce determination in his eyes, Frederick gets between Glory and the wild boar, his sword steady and strong in his left hand. Be gone, you monster! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Be gone, you monster, or feel my sting! Frederick commands the boar, his firm voice powerful and unshaking. But there is no fear to be found in the boar's hate-filled eyes. With little warning, it suddenly charges straight at Frederick. <laughs> I do have a little sword. <laughs> Although Frederick's sword isn't sharp, a well-aimed swing can still hurt the di like the Dickens. With tears of pain in its eyes, the wild boar retreats back into the forest, now completely terrified of the strength and bravery of the valiant prince. Yay! <laughs> Gloria cheers. You made the monster go foo! You're the human hero! Uh, uh, uh. I'm glad you're okay, Gloria. Now let's bring you home. This game makes me so uncomfortable. Happily picking up Gloria and tickling her. Gloria laughs aloud cheerfully. The potentially traumatic experience now just ha er, now just a fun, happy memory. <laughs> I'm holding her. Oh, wait. I kiss her. Do it. A kiss on the cheek and she quickly returns the favor. 
I thought it said smell and eat on her. <laughs> Frederick can playfully tickle her in the armpits, getting her laughing and squealing quite loudly. Uh, yeah. Hug. She clearly enjoys. All right. Okay. Get this bitch back to her mother as fast as possible. Don't even bother looking around. Down. Just get that. Just get the fuck oh, out of God. here. As they near the village, Gloria suddenly runs ahead, just as Rachel notices them. Mommy, mommy! Gloria exclaims. I saw the monster, and, and Prince Frederick made a monster go. He he go he go foo! Gloria! Rachel exclaims, immediately picking Gloria up for a hug. Oh dear, Gloria, please, please, please don't ever run away like that again. I was so worried. I won't, Gloria responds unconvincingly. Oh, Gloria, and you lost the little skirt I made for you too, Rachel says with a hint of frustration. Oh, uh, no. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, no. I, uh, I have it, um... Frederick said she <laughs> uh, she didn't have to uh, wear it. <laughs> oh really? Rachel laughs with a little uh, a little uh, a little with amusement. Um well mommy wants uh, <laughs> well Well mommy wants to see the cute little skirt she made for you Gloria. Come over here sweetie. Although she clearly doesn't want to, Gloria stands still long enough for Rachel to put the skirt back on her. Thank you again so much, Rachel says. I, I just, I can't thank you enough. Without speaking a word, Frederick, oh, sorry, walks over to Rachel and gives her a hug. Unsurprisingly, Rachel hugs back in response, and Gloria joins in as well. Whenever you're ready, we still have to deliver the mushroom to Dr. Keith. My apologies, sweet Rachel, for... Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies, sweet Rachel. But Fyodor is right. We came here for some medicine to help my father recover from his health, but I promise you both, I will come back. Perhaps even tomorrow? Oh, God. Oh, I... I understand, Rachel responds with slight disappointment. Thank you again so much, and, and I hope King Far Farnham feels better. Shelby. Man, you know, I know this is a, kind of a furry game, but I think, like, you know, I think this, I think Frederick here is the real furry. I think the other brothers are just like, they're, Duke they're and uncomfortably silent just, in the just background. <laughs> Should we give, give that her the bitch flower? a flower? Yeah, yeah. Why, thank you, Rachel says as she happily eats the entire <laughs> flower. All right. Give, um... Wait, give the daughter a pebble. Oh, I thought I had her do it. <laughs> I'm going to play catch with glory. He doesn't really have time for now. He'd rather use something safer than Pebble while they're in the village. Oh. Uh, can't well, bully people in this game. Shall so, we tickle oh, yeah. her? Do it. <laughs> Rachel laughs playfully as Frederick tickles it into her armpits. Despite the playful protest, she is a little disappointed when he eventually stops. Oh, yeah. Give her a hug. Uh, sorry, uh, around each other in a loving hug, both enjoying the wonderful experience. Right, now give give it the big climactic finish. Frederick was going to kiss Rachel on the cheek, but she clearly want, wants to be kissed on the lips, which friendly is more... Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright, now let's give him a strip search. No, just kidding. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I searched! Pretends to search for something all over Rachel, who absolutely enjoys the playful attention. Oh my god, thank you. I'm what just going to take do? her. Love to have her carry her back home, but there's really isn't time for that right now. Maybe another day? What the Can fuck? You look at her. Can you look at So is very happy to have Gloria back safely, and also seems to really enjoy the attention she's getting from Frederick. <laughs> Alright. All right, oh, I forgot about the doctor. Give him a hug, man. Yeah, no, don't. Man. Gudor hands Dr. Keith the mushroom. Far out, man. You got the mushroom. Truly outrageous. I can have that medicine for you in just a few minutes, man. Just have a seat and chill out for a spell. You guys earned it. 
Greg Redkin of Blue Door take a seat on the bed, while Philip continues to wait in the doorway. As Dr. Keith finishes the medicine, they tell him all about their adventures rescuing Gloria. Most I like surprises. how... What? I was gonna say, I like how we fucking... We, we were sitting here, deciding on what game to play. And we were like, let's record a game! Let's, let's record a game! We're like, oh, we can play this, this awesome game. We can uh, do a horror game. <laughs> and then we just no call, and I'm like, man, four man fables. <laughs> I, I heard this shit straight <laughs> fire, dude. Ah, are those lizard titties? <laughs> <laughs> Sign me yeah. up. Oh, leathery. This is fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Most righteous. You guys are just the bee's knees, man. Tell you what, this medicine, free of charge, man. No, no, I, I won't hear otherwise, man. Karm is telling me you guys deserve it. <laughs> Having finished with the medicine, Dr. Keith hands the bottle over to Fudor. Thank you again so... Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you again thank so, you again much, so Dr. much, Dr. Keith. Dr. Keith. Oh, that's me! No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, no prob, Dr. Keith says. Stop by any time if you're in need of good vibes or just be like shooting the breeze. Godspeed, noble princes. Cool. We okay. have medicine now. I don't Ooh. think we're going to do anything. Should we talk to her real quick? We didn't actually talk uh, to her. Oh, douche. <laughs> yeah, dude. Long range question. Why didn't we even think about this? Pardon me for asking, but given your size, isn't it uncomfortable not wearing some sort of bra to support your breasts <laughs> oh fuck i used the wrong voice entirely out of <laughs> innocent curiosity it's actually more uncomfortable covering them rachel replies i just don't like how constrictive it feels and most of the time my nipples get chafed by the fabric same <laughs> i'm not even gonna read that no that's what he really meant to say he's like same <laughs> This is you, bud. Have you informed the guards that the wild boar has been taken care of? Oh, I can't right now, he just says. Everyone's still in the meeting, so I have to wait until it's over. But before I could talk to anyone. I see. Okay. You should switch to uh, the other guy real quick. The guy that's like really boning for her and try talking. Because yeah. I think, yeah, you're stuck on the other middle child. Yeah, now talk to her. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> oh. Which one? Which one? Start from the bottom, work your way up. Oh, God. Rachel, I hope you forgive me for asking, but you wouldn't happen to be ticklish? Oh, that's that's for me to know and for you to find out. Hee <laughs> hee. Rachel responds with an equally playful grin, blushing crazy. Uh... <laughs> Your daughter is absolutely adorable, Frederick says. Why, thank you, Rachel responds happily. She can certainly be a handful sometimes, but I wouldn't trade her for the world. Raising her is such a joy, and well, I'm I'm glad to have her. Something about her response makes Frederick curious about what happened in regards to Gloria's absent father, but that seems like something Rachel doesn't want to talk about, so he doesn't ask. <laughs> you are very beautiful, Rachel. Frederick says directly. Oh, I he he oh. Rachel replies, blushing like crazy. If you wanted to spend the night, maybe. I'm afraid I couldn't tonight, but perhaps tomorrow. I certainly would love to spend the night snuggling with you and gloria why does he keep referring to gloria that's her daughter oh this is so uncomfortable oh oh yes rachel responds slightly disappointed with the realization that frederick's idea of spending the night isn't a not as naughty as she was thinking it would be but then deciding that's probably for the best This is you, buddy. Gloria doesn't seem to be interested in wearing that, in wearing her skirt. Is there is uh, is there a reason why she has to wear it? He's all getting angry about it. Is there a reason why you're making her wear a skirt? <laughs> oh, I know. It's selfish of me, Rachel says. 
But I, I'm a clothing maker, and I want people to know how good I am. So I guess you could say I'm, I'm using my daughter for advertising. You're using your daughter. What a heartless bitch. And you couldn't even make it a different color. <laughs> it was an honor to aid you and your daughter. Oh, thank you again so much. Victor responds, smiling and blushing like crazy. All right, well, let's go cure our father, shall we? Get oh, yeah. Here. Get, I get a flower. We need what? flower. Flower? Another flower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you never know when you need one. Wait, what? There. Oh, there we go. Cool. Yeah. There's the bus. Should we throw a pebble at the bus? Fuck yeah, we should. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> We never Do we have to sit at the bus? Stop? Okay. Uh, uh, I'll go back to the city? Oh, okay. I Oh, right, here we go. I was like, huh? Uh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? The station where they had left their horses parked and quickly ride to the... <laughs> What? They ride their horses to the castle, but they take the butt. I don't. Okay. Here you go, bud. Redrick was the first to my bedside, but Fludor and Philip arrived in time to see me drink that wonderful medicine, which tasted like cherries, might I add. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The result was so immediate, I thought at first it was but a dream. But no! It was in fact the truth. Within seconds, my health was fully returned. And that, I'm afraid, is the happy ending to my wonderful story. King Farnham? Callias, having been completely silent until now. Is that a true story? King Farnham laughs, laughs, laughs as it says. <laughs> Dear Callie, I promise you that is as real as I, you and I. The proof is in the present, and I always say, and you don't see me suffering from a nasty fever now, do you? See, what I like about this is this implies, because he just told this whole story, and we got to see the whole story, as it said. He told her about the flirting and the tickling and the hugging and all uh, that. He did. He did. And the big-breasted ladies... Lizard ladies. Lady Frogger. But to them, it's just normal ladies. Alright. Oh! Uh, Callie responds, still hanging on to King Farnham's every word. Nike, who had even forgotten her nervousness in the presence of the king, found she too had a wonderful time listening to his story. Kind of a shitty story. They didn't do much at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear me, is it that time? King Farnham says as he checks his watch. I do apologize, but it has completely slipped my mind that I have a meeting with the royal advisor in 17 minutes. I do hope you understand. Oh, thank you again, your majesty. Nagi says pleasantly, as though she were speaking to an old friend. We also have errands to need to finish up today as well and thank you again for that wonderful story fuck i hate reading bidding the king a fond farewell the happy young aunt and her carefree little niece put on their raincoats before leaving the castle and heading for home the story still fresh in their minds especially Callie's, as she babbles on and on about her favorite parts of the story the entire walk nike simply smiles and nods Happy that their visit to the castle went far better than she ever could have imagined. The, the end. end. Okay, so Episode this was one. not this was not as a hentai-ish as I thought it would be. We got to see booby. And two pixels, <laughs> sexy. It was a two pixel nipple. Don't don't sell it short. You okay. bastard. Um, was it? Wow! I gotta say, I was gonna be a lot. I thought it was gonna be a lot cringier than it actually was. So, uh, there are 
two more parts to the story. If you like this and you want to see us continue this story, why don't you, uh, why don't you leave a comment? Why don't you? Tell me one person that's going to say, yeah, do this again. No, I need at least two comments from two different people that aren't the same people using two different accounts, like RND3 and then Bailey Phillips. No, like, actually, I won't cut it. Bro, Tato Tabs? I mean, come on, guys. Like, these are, these are weird names, all right? Seriously. Um, you know, you want to see us continue, we'll continue, but... Well, buddy, uh, what do you think? Give me your truthful, honest opinion. I'm very, very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> like, throughout the whole video, I'm probably sitting here squirming. Like, oh. oh you and me both, man. Like, you and me both. I'm just like, why? Why are they talking about this? Why are there buses? Why? I don't... That shit, buddy? Uh, that shit, buddy. Was straight bussing. <laughs> literally, there was a bus. Oh, God. In medieval times. I'm pretty sure they were just renaissancing. Yeah. What was your... What, what did you feel? I, I was... Buddy, my arms have, like, not left my arms. Like, I've been holding myself because I'm just like, this oh, is so fucking it's uncomfortable. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like I said, you guys want to see another continuation, you must fucking stand on your tiptoes, because I'm uncomfortable to the max. Oh, my God. Like, We've been doing comment, this for an subscribe hour. this shit. We're back, baby. The boys are oh, back. Oh, wait. Love, Love you, guys. you guys. Have a good, Have a good one. one. Peace. Stay fresh. Are you a fan of Grease, Sandra? <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> do you like Grease or Footloose, Sandra? Sandra, I don't mean you any harm. I only bring the word of Christ.